Three of the most common excuses that people use to not work out are number one, a lack of time, number two, a lack of energy, and number three, a lack of motivation and self-discipline. In this three-part video series that I'll be releasing starting today, I'll be showing you how you have no excuses at all, especially if you do calisthenics. And I'll be also sharing with you at the end of the video a simple, practical bodyweight workout so you can take action right after. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Bluetooth connected. Now, when it comes to time, I get it. I know how the pressure can be. I work 12 hours per day myself, but working out can actually help you deal with that pressure or whatever it is that you might be stressing with. And no time is honestly not an excuse because everybody has the time for a short calisthenics workout. Calisthenics can be done anywhere and anytime. You don't have to get out of your way to go to the gym, wait in lines, look for parking spaces. You don't need to set up complicated equipment other than maybe a set of gymnastic rings. And if you train smart, you don't have to train for a lot of time. Personally, the last years, my workouts never last more than 25 plus or minus 10 minutes. And that is including a proper warm up. You know, you can just look at my channel or the description and the top comment below. I'll link you with some workouts that are effective and as short as even 15 minutes. But if you still feel that you don't have any time to work out, I have an experiment for you today. Let's call this the time logging challenge. This is actually something that I stole from uh, Benny Greb's book, Effective Practicing for Musicians. Uh, Benny Greb is a famous drummer for those who don't know him. And what I want you to do is during a typical day of yours, set an alarm clock on your phone to go off every two hours. And whenever that happens, stop what you're doing and note down what you've been doing for those last two hours. At the end of the day, you'll have a new perspective and a heightened awareness in a way about how you spend your time. And I guarantee you that you'll observe uh, plenty of pointless behaviors that with some proper time management can be easily replaced by a workout that will improve your mood, energize you, improve your health, and help you build a more aesthetic body, of course. Now, the workout that I'll be leaving you with today is what I call the 7-1 workout. This is one of my most minimal, yet also favorite workouts, and I typically use it when I want to improve at a specific exercise, either if it's new or if I've hit a plateau. Since the high focused volume not only builds muscle, but it also also teaches your body how to recruit muscles more effectively in order to perform the exercise with greater efficiency. So in a nutshell, a 7-1 workout comprises of seven sets with one minute of rest in between, and you only target that one single exercise, which can be whichever one you want. It can be pull-ups, it can be uh, hands and push-ups. For me, I haven't done a lot of hands and push-ups the last years, and uh, it's an exercise that I'd like to get strong at again. Now, although I like to train whole body, and this is something I preach, you know, always train whole body or at least as often as you can train whole body. Uh, this is a workout that I like to do when I have a lot of things going on, especially uh, work wise and in my head, maybe, you know, some extra stress I'm dealing with. And it's just a quick and simple workout to decompress. Um, get a, what I call a workout break from the rest of the day and keep on going. Now, in terms of repetitions, figuring out how many reps should you do per set for this workout, you want to take the average number of reps per set you can get across three sets with two to three minutes of rest. So, you know, enough rest to recover as completely as possible. Split that in half. So let's say you can get 10 pull-ups across three sets with two to three minutes of rest. Uh, splitting that in half would be five reps, or if it's a decimal number, always round it up. For example, if you can get nine handstand push-ups across three sets, half of that would be four and a half reps, and therefore rounding that up would be five reps, which is the number that you want to get across all sets during your seven, one workout. Now, in terms of rest, you want to take one minute of rest in between each set. This is why I call this workout the seven one workout. And it's also a great workout to break through plateaus. 
So let's take the previous example of hands and push-ups. Let's say you want to get more hands and push-ups. The strategy that I use with this workout is the following. Uh, during your first training session, try to get seven sets of five hands and push-ups. If you can do that successfully during your next workout, try to add one more rep during your last set, so your seventh set. If you can do that successfully, again, try to add two sets of one extra rep. So you start again with five sets of five hands and push-ups. Uh, your sixth set, you try to get again, six hands and push-ups. And during your seventh set, you try once again to get six hands and push-ups. And you keep on adding one rep during your last sets until you can get seven sets of six hands and push-ups. Uh, this works really great, I highly recommend it. Now, the training frequency of this workout is basically do it every other day or uh, three times per week. So, for example, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, or Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, in between that, you can still train. Just make sure that you don't perform the same exercise, so you can still do upper body in between those days, you know, just don't work on hands and push-ups. And uh, once again, really good system, really good strategy to break through plateaus. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Now in our next video, we'll be talking about the second most common excuse, not having enough energy to train. Another thing that I wanted to let you know about today was that soon we'll be starting the second Strong and Lean Over 30 Bootcamp. Again, uh, if that's something that you're interested or if you have no idea, but it sounds interesting, there will be a link below with more information. Check it out and all next time, keep on training.